Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Borracha Muchacha. What are we making today? Today we're making another Prohibition Time uh, cocktail that it's called the Mary Pickford. So who was Mary Pick Pickford? Uh, she was this silent movie um, actress, extremely famous, and uh, she she's actually a very amazing woman for her era, era for her time too. Uh, we're talking prohibition time, like 1920s or so. And so she was um, made an honorary colonel, uh, one random fact about her, but also she started uh, United Artists um, back in the days. And uh, um, she also started the, um, I believe it's the Academy of Motion Pictures and Arts. Uh, and uh, she was just brilliant. So how did this start? It? Um, she was traveling, she was visiting Cuba back in, in the days with her um, husband, uh, who was Mr. Douglas Fairbanks. Yes, indeed, also a very famous guy, and Charlie Chaplin. So th it was uh, three of the most famous silent um, movie actors there and actress uh, there. Uh, so this um, bartender over at the uh, Hotel Nacional de Havana, um, in Havana, um, made this cocktail and named uh, it after her. So let's commence. Here's what we're going to need. We're going to need some Luxardo, some uh, Maraschino uh, liqueur. You can use another brand, of course. You're going to need a couple of uh, cherries. I also use Luxardo, although I have another brand also that I love. Uh, we're going to use some Havana Club Rum, uh, or Rum de Havana. Um, so this one here is actually from Puerto Rico. <laughs> uh, we're going to need some pineapple juice. And yes, I did not go with freshly squozen uh, because I could not find a pineapple um, today. And I knew that um, I had some pineapple juice uh, from my partner. So at any rate, we're also going to be using some grenadine. And so here's how we're going to roll. So we're going to take, and I just remembered that we have the other side over here. Woo! Pure insanity. Here we go. I was wondering what in the world I was trying to be cool. Uh, what in the, where was my other side? All right. So um, I know like people do some fancy stuff. I can't do that. So I have tried and then I end up with a drink on the floor. So, okay, so we're gonna start with uh, our uh, main liquor, which is the rum. And for this, we're going to use two parts, two ounces of this rum. And the bottle's almost at the end, and it's perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so one bites the dust. And then we are going to be using our uh, Luxardo which was, uh, let's see here, which is just a little tab. It's like practically uh, one uh, six. So slightly below one fourth of an ounce. There we go. So here's this guy. And then I am going to be using this, my friends. I made myself, this is grenadine. So it doesn't have any coloring. Um, how do you make your own grenadine? Super simple. So it's practically like making simple syrup. Practically. So you put uh, one cup of sugar, and I use turbinado because I like the flavor a little more. And so I use one cup of sugar, and I use one cup of pomegranate uh, uh, juice. And then on top of that, I added this wonderfulness over here. And this is orange flavor, oh, sorry, sorry, orange flower water not flavor, water, flour. All right, so this guy right there. So, and then, so all I did, I put it on the stove, I let the sugar dissolve, then I let it cool off, and I put it in the air. So for this, we're also going to need, um, let's see, I think it's also about one six, so not too, too much. It's just light of the flavor. And so since I am not using something that doesn't come from a bottle artificial, uh, the color of this drink is usually more of like a rose red color. Um, so what I'm going to do, it, so, and actually, you know what? Um, I am going to show you what it looks like. I was going to add a little bit of the maraschino, maraschino uh, 
syrup, but I'm just gonna let it be. Uh, I am going to just leave it as this color because you guys are gonna see the different, the difference that it makes by using the artificial stuff because this stuff is not gonna look pink. Um, so then we're going to add some ice into our other side of our Boston shaker. And before I do that, I do not want to forget that you don't want to overfill it. You want to go slightly above the amount of liquids that you have. On top of that, we are going to be using one half of the pineapple juice. Bam, there we go. So we put, I was about to mix it into the wrong one. There we go, <laughs> hot mess. All right, so then after that, I am going to place this, I am playing Tetris over here with my, <laughs> it's an insane mess. Uh, we're gonna put our liquids into our ice. We're gonna close up our Boston shaker. And this is how you know that it's close is when this is nice and flush. Grab from the ends and then shake for about 12 to 15 seconds. Vigorously. So I just have to like endure and play. Smack it around a little more. Until it opens, because I want the containers. And then it reclosed again. Here we go, here we go. So now we are going to double, um, I'm forgetting everything today. We're going to double strain this and so that you don't get a lot of chars in there. And So now you see how it's not that pink color of the grenadine because I am using things that are not um, technically organic. The pomegranate was also organic in this. And then you want to serve it with a couple of cherries. So let me grab my cherries. I, I am playing a lot of shuffling around today. There we go. Here's one. My cherry. I should have had this ready already so you guys didn't have to watch me playing poke the cherry and there we go but then something fun could happen like the cherry could slip then something all right so then you place your cherries right on here and there you have it my friends this is the miss mary no not with the miss but a mary pickford Beautiful, right? Mm, just went in there. Also delicious. Ah, refreshing, delicious is like being at the beach in Havana, possibly, where the three of them were just chilling somewhere by the beach. At any rate, um, thank you so much for watching this channel. Please subscribe, and uh, you will be watching some other. Um, cool videos about um, drinking and making cocktails and having a good time. So let's try it again. Just a slightly sweet. That is one good drink. Mm. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and wash your hands. Mwah. Lots of love. Take care guys.